Hello, hello, hello. Many of you might be familiar with the count if, sum if formulas over in Excel. I'm going to show you how you can get the same effect using a usually two node solution. So one thing to note before you start to do aggregations is you need to make sure you have the right variable types. For instance, if we look at the initial data here, notice that our order value is a string. This should be a number. What this means is that we'll not be able to do sums with this because it's not a number. So this has to be converted. And also, my cat likes to cry when I'm recording, so please just ignore him. And also the date is a string. So if you wanted to have records which are only in a certain date range, this is not going to work because this is a string. So both of these have to be converted. I'm just going to show you very briefly uh, these nodes, how I did them. So I selected the order value column here, and I selected the type of number to make that a number. Specifically double because it does have decimals. If it didn't have decimals, I, I would use a long, for instance. And then for the date, I selected the date column. If it's a common, a consistent date format, NIME is pretty good at guessing. Sometimes you have to enter in the appropriate date codes, and you can find them here. Just FYI, I think I might make a detailed video on this if I don't have one already. Um, but I just set that and I did find the right format. So it transformed it to look like this, a standard date, database date format of year, month, and day. Okay, so I just wanted to clear that because these are very important and some people might not be familiar with these notes. So to really get into the topic of this, when you're doing a count, uh, count if sum if, like I said, it's usually a two node approach. You need a node to isolate the rows of data you care about. And then you need another node to do your computations. So I usually use the rule based row filter to isolate the data I care about. Basically filters rows based on given conditions. And then I use the group by to do my count if or my to do my count on my sum. So the rule based row filter, like the name says, filters rules based on rules. You can, the good thing about this node is you can give it multiple rules. So it would almost be like Walter, no. So you open it and you tell it what your criteria should be. So let's say we want to know how many sales were from Sweden with order value of over 20,000 euros that were after uh, after or on 1st of January 2020 because we don't want anything in 2019 for instance and were either from the book or the games category. So we're going to put in all those rows to isolate those rows and then we're going to do our aggregations. So we said the country we're interested in is Sweden. So you select a country and you want it to be Sweden. This is case sensitive, so make sure you have the right cases. And you only care about orders which are bigger than 20,000 euros, 20,000. And you only care about categories which are a category, category. So and category is equals to books, books, or games. I'm going to wrap these in. So you just have to say or category equals to games again. Or you can say category in. Actually, let's use that one. It's more elegant. So category and category in books, games. Okay, and uh, the last thing we said was for the the date, and the date should be bigger than or equals to January first, twenty twenty. Um, I forgot the last clause, which is and, and date should be bigger than January 1st or equals to January 1st, 2020. And then if this equates to true, then we want to return all those true matches. If we say exclude, it's going to return everything else. Okay. So to read this again, because, you know, I typed and I was talking, 
We want records where the country is equal to Sweden and the order value is bigger than or equals to actually greater than or equals to 20,000 euro. And the category is either books or games. We can add more here if we want to. And this order was placed after the 1st of January 2020. And this here means equate. I, well, I call it equate to. <laughs> equate to true. So this will give us all the records where this is true. Okay, so click on OK and we run this. And we can eyeball our data to ensure that it only includes country or Sweden, only orders which are more than 20,000, only books or games, and only everything after the 1st of January 2020. So that part we know is working. The next part is the group by here is where we do our aggregations. So you just go in and we want to do a count and a sum. Now, since this is a count of records, if you select any of these columns, it's going to give you the same number of records because, you know, it's a table. So you have 19 rows. If it counts all the countries, you get 19. You count all the category. Anything you count is going to give you 19. So in theory, you can use any of these columns for the count component of your endeavor. And then for the sum, you have to use this one because you're doing a sum of the order value and you select the sum. So you click on OK in nine again it's a two node solution one part to isolate your records uh records and the other part to compute computer numbers compute and again like i said very important make sure you have your variables in the right type because if you don't uh for instance if i had the the order value as a string i would not even have the option to do a sum because it doesn't recognize that and that's how you, you handle that in Nine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying my content. If you are, and if you want to learn more about Nine nodes or how to do specific things in Nine, then consider subscribing. And maybe you want to be notified whenever I post a video. I hope you have a really fun, fantastic day. Thank you and goodbye.